So today I am bringing a slightly different video. On a side note, I really hope my camera has enough battery. It's running a little low, but I'm hoping I can get through this. This is going to be a fairly short video. So today this video is going to be all about uh, reviewing my smart crutches. So I have Ehlers-Danlos and I have complex regional pain syndrome and I've got chronic pain syndrome among other things and just generalised pain. One thing that I was told to look at and one thing that I had seen quite often had been the smart crutches. So I thought I'd get some and it was quite an impulsive decision. I looked at them one day and then literally bought them the next. And for those of you who are aware of the smart crutches, you know that even though they could they could definitely be more expensive it is still a bit of an investment on a mobility aid so yeah uh i was a little bit dubious about spending that much money being impulsive sometimes adhd does help me because if i didn't have that impulsivity i wouldn't have got them and i certainly wouldn't have found the help that i have found within the smart crutch so as a whole, with my Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, I experience a lot of leg pain. So my complex regional pain syndrome, or CRPS, mainly affects my right limb. It causes me to struggle to walk mainly. It's, it's just a lot of pain and a lot of weakness in my leg. And it does make it hard to walk, but also it's the fatigue sense of it. Because I am walking and experiencing pain and putting so much pressure on my knee, I am therefore exerting and putting my body under more stress and pressure which then causes me to be quite fatigued and being autistic and experiencing autistic fatigue as well as my other health issues it really takes it out of me and I really wanted to find something that would help with the pain as well as to support me especially with how clumsy I am and just all round an aid that I am not embarrassed to have to begin with, the design of the smart crutch is pretty efficient and it's nice to look at. It also makes me feel with, so this may just be me, but when I use NHS resources like the original NHS crutches, just from a design aspect, I have a lot more people asking me what's wrong than or what has happened than to when I use the smart crutches and I think that's purely down to the design the smart the smart crutches give off that aspect of the fact that I have invested in these to help with a long-term health condition which also helps people not ask so many questions when I'm out which is brilliant it is absolutely brilliant well being autistic I really struggle with communication and it gets really really annoying and really super tiring having to explain yeah it's hard especially with EDS because the people that are aware of it brilliant the people who have heard of it because of the hypermobility side of it they're like oh so you're just hypermobile you don't need those don't even get me started on that one all round the design and the aspect of them help me a lot now on to the joint kind of side of things smart crutches have a rotating cuff and arm weight system on it so by with the notch on the side you can undo it and tighten it to where is best for the arm cuff to be in position if that makes sense so with me, I have them tilted at an angle when I'm out because I find it easier to, to walk with and it doesn't put so much strain on my shoulders having to swing the actual crutches forward. If I am ever out and I do need a break, sometimes I just need to lean on something because things get a little bit overwhelming for me. Then I can just tilt the armrest back so that it is at a, horizon a horizontal position, is that right? Yeah horizontal position and the back of my my forearm takes the weight and it evens it out on both sides which means that I'm not putting so much stress on my wrists and my fingers and my hands also through I do struggle sometimes with my elbows as well it's not a huge issue but it does happen and it is something that I'm aware of so it also really helps with aspects such as that as well in terms of shoulders I think if you're using crutches you have to come to some sort of understanding that it is going to be putting pressure on your shoulders. However, with the smart crutches personally for me, I find that there isn't so much weight and shock going through my shoulders as there would be with normal crutches. 
and the base of the crutches are set up and to me it feels like there's a lot more suspension in these crutches it's a softer impact when the crutches go forward and hit the ground and with the smart crutches they are super super handy i absolutely love that they have little zebras on because being an eds patient myself and for those of you who aren't aware, the zebra is a sign of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. So it's super cute just to have that. And I also like the fact that they've detailed the left and the right hand crutch as well. Being disabled, that is a confidence knocker in itself. And although I'm not a typically insecure person now, as I had been in the past, I definitely feel that if I have to use mobility aids, I want to use ones that I feel comfortable and look good in, and I want to find ones that are fun for me to look at, as well as comfortable for my joints and my body. And I think this is something that's really important, is that just because people have chronic illnesses doesn't mean that we have to use the ugly NHS resources. I am so thankful for the NHS, the especially the free healthcare and the resources that they hand out. but. If you have a long-term illness or a long-term, just a chronic illness in general, whether that be long-term or chronic or terminal or both, I much prefer to invest my money in something that will last me a long time and something that I like the look of as well. But that is just my personal preference. Other people may prefer NHS resources, they may prefer either, they may not care at all. It is just personal preference at the end of the day. They have quite a few colours in. I did originally want to get either the yellow or the green ones, but unfortunately after COVID they had to limit the amount of stock that they had in each colour, which meant that the least popular colours uh, went out of manufacturing which is super annoying, but the pink ones are super cute and I do absolutely love them. They are just, hands down, the coolest looking and most helpful crutch and mobility aid that I have used so far. Uh, this video wasn't sponsored or anything, I just kind of wanted to come on here and give my honest review. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions at all, then please head to the comments box below. Any information that I think will be helpful to either my followers or my subscribers will be in the description box below, as well as the link to the Smart Crutch website. I do have a Discord server and it is the Over the Spectrum Discord server, which is also linked under the support section of my description box. Thank you for watching my video and thank you for hearing me ramble on. <laughs> and I appreciate all of you more than any of you will ever know. Bye!